What's up, spectators? Welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Duel Destinies. Here we are, day two in the trial. We are in speaking with Dr. Herman Crab. Ah, yeah, and that, that's about it. If the water in the pool is drained, you say the orca could die. But is that necessarily true? What are you talking about? There is a way to let the water out without harming the orca, isn't there? Your Honor, please allow me to submit this photograph. Oh! This is... As you can see, there is no water around the Skull Rock area. With the pool in this state, the victim could have been made to fall to his death. However, there is water on the other side of the partition. And Orla looks just fine. In other words, if the partition is set up at the bottom of the pool, the water can be drained without doing Orla any harm. Are you implying the water could have been drained at a time other than the, during the cleaning? Yes, there is that possibility. Dr. Crab is shaking. Looks like he has something to hide. Could it have something to do with the calendar note about the meeting? And the meeting was scheduled for, wasn't it like 7 a.m.? Uh, which would have been maybe right after the cleaning? I don't remember. It might. I'll submit it to the judge. Your Honor, please take a look at this calendar. Ah, you waved that around in court yesterday. No need to drag out your souvenir today. Actually, I would like you to make a note of the entry for the day of the incident. Let me see here. Meet the captain at the orca pool at 7 a.m. This note is about meeting planned with the victim. Hold on, I'm gonna get some coffee here. Oh, it's cold and nasty. Ugh. Oh god, it would not be pleased. What? The defense would like to argue that at time of the meeting, the pool may have been drained of its water. Whose calendar is that? It belongs to Dr. Herman Crab. Isn't that right, Dr. Crab? Son of a gun. So you suspect me, do you? Man, I'm the baddest doctor around, see? What is the meaning of this calendar entry, Dr. Crab? Explain yourself. Fine, I was supposed to meet Jack at the orca pool at that time. But I ended up not going. So you're saying you simply broke your promise? You can't get out of it that easily. I believe you have some explaining to do. Objection! He has cowboy bebop hair, it's great. He has Spike's hair. Your blade is sharper than I thought, right, Dono. But your cut was shallow. A mere surface scratch. There's a saying amongst prisoners. Do not see, hear, nor speak to smooth talking lawyers. If you think the witness is suspicious, show your proof. Ah! The calendar alone isn't good enough, huh? I have to prove the victim could have fallen to his death at that 7 a.m. meeting time. I have to prove the victim could have fallen. How do I do that? Security footage? I don't know. Let's put our heads together, boss. The victim could have fallen during cleaning when the pool was completely drained. Or, using the partition it could have been at 7 a.m. with the water partially drained. What would be the major difference in circumstance between these two possibilities? Hmm, what circumstance was different? Okay, the answer could really tell us, really tell us something. Okay, before, I'm sure they're gonna give us some options, but I think it'd be fun to see what the difference would be to begin with. One, if it's during the cleaning, that, that would mean Sasha was there, Orca, uh, Orla was in the other side with Marlin, and we don't know where the doctor is. If it was during when the partition was there, that means the cleaning was done, Sasha would be gone, uh, 7 a.m. meeting was planned, there'd be no witnesses, I think, besides the killer, I think that's, that one's the best one? What circumstance was different between the two possibilities of cleaning at 7 a.m.? Uh, between the two, okay, I mean... The pool was half-filled is true. The orca was there. All three! All three apply! So I guess I have to choose the best one. Uh, the... I think this one might be the best one. If the murder occurred at a time other than during the cleaning, the orca must have... Remember the time other than the cleaning? Oh, you're right! But all three are right! The pool would also be half-full for one of them during the partition. And what was the last one? Time of day? That one's obvious. 
Oh, you're right, and that would mean that... Orla witnessed the murder, which... Why, why does that matter? What's this? You're sheathing your sword so soon. Stop yammering to each other and show me how you wield your sword. Alright then. My sword is poised and ready. That's what she said. If the murder was committed at a time other than during the cleaning time, then Orla must have been present at the scene. I still don't get why that's important, though. If I can prove that the murder happened right in front of Orla, then I can prove that Miss Buck Buckler is not guilty. Wait, why, w why would that be the case? Order! Order in the court! Mr. Wright, are you implying that the Orca was a witness to the crime? That is exactly what I'm implying. And? How do you intend to prove the Orca witnessed the murder? What are you going to do? Put the Orca on stand and cross-examine her? This is a critical point. I'd better think about it carefully. The defense will... Oh, what? Okay, hold on a minute. Okay, okay. Uh... So I need to prove that Orca was a witness. So how would I do that? Uh... Cross-examining Orlo seems pointless. I don't know what- I don't have any- what evidence do I have that would prove that? I don't have any! Do I? No, I don't- Do I continue with Crab? Do I con- Maybe I- If I'm wrong- If I'm wrong and it sends me back here, that's good. So, I'm gonna go with the most absurd choice, which is cross-examine Orlo, which I don't think will do anything. But, I don't want to continue with Crab if I don't have to. And I definitely don't know what evidence I'm supposed to be presenting for that. If I asked Orla if she witnessed the murder, I'm sure she would tell me everything. Oh, okay, that was clearly the stupidest one. Really? How interesting. And how do you propose to communicate with the Orca? Well, I... I'd have to think about that. Unlike some birds, an Orca is incapable of human speech. No, I'm afraid I can't allow you to cross-examine a creature that cannot speak. Unless the defense has some other way of communicating with the orca? The whistle? No. I'm afraid I don't, your honor. I guess that was a silly idea. Okay, good. Alright. There was no punishment, so there's no harm in doing that. Awesome. I don't have any evidence. I guess I'll continue with crab? That could be the best thing. I'll continue my cross-examination of Dr. Crab. That's fine with me, but I've already said everything I have to say. You still haven't told the court why you broke your promise to meet with the victim. Oh yeah, that's true. Objection. Before we get into that, why don't you ha take care of your orca witnessing the murder, Balderdash, first? Balderdash? Is that some sort of shot at me? That seems to be quite a sensitive subject with the judge. Oh! Oh my god. I just had an epiphany. I just realized that, if you remember when we examined the crime scene, there was blood on the skull rock, but there was also blood on top of Orla. And we, at, and at the time, we were like, why is there, why is there blood on her when it should be under the hat? Because there was blood on, like, the forehead. If the person died during that, while it was half empty, blood would have splattered onto Orla, which explains the blood! Yeah! I mean, I, I chose wrong every single time, but at least I, I figured, um, yes, 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 yes. You're going to present evidence? Knowing the defense, I thought surely you would try to cross-examine the Orca. Oh, uh, well, I tried. You wouldn't let me. I must say I'm a little disappointed. Sorry to get your hopes up, Your Honor. Very well, let's see this evidence then. What evidence shows that the murder took place right in front of Orca? Ha <laughs> uh, you stupid bitch. It's right here. Take that! This photo indicates where we discovered luminol reactions yesterday. By accident, we got some of the luminol testing fluid on Orla. We were then very surprised to see... Luminol reactions on Orla's body! Objection! Mama. Oh, oh, oh. So what of it? 
There's nothing odd about that. As was discussed in yesterday's trial, the orca was bleeding. Under the hatch, you idiot. Traces of the orca's blood were also found on the skull rock. Wait, really? I didn't know that. The orca must have injured herself when she rammed the rock. So that cloud of blood Mr. Plume saw was from Orla headbutting the skull rock, was it? Hmm. Interesting. Those luminol reactions you saw on the orca are most likely from her headbutting. Objection! But what's odd is the position of those blood stains. Please take a good look at the photograph. Yesterday, Mr. Plume said the blood disappeared when Orla put on the hat. That testimony indicated that Orla's injuries were under the hat area. However, these luminol reactions are in two entirely separate areas from her injuries. These bloodstains can't be Orla's own blood from when she was headbutting. Then where did the blood come from? It's my firm belief that it's the victim's blood. The victim was killed right in front of Orla. And the victim's blood splattered onto Orla's body. Woo! Na 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 na! Now it finally all makes sense. Orla was a witness to the murder, so that's why. That's why what? Orla? Boss, something's wrong with Orla. What? You're right. She's listless, and she's sinking. There's one more fact that indicates Orla was a witness to the murder. There's more? The culprit was afraid Orla could somehow reveal what she witnessed. And that's why they did what they did. It's the only thing that makes sense. What? You think the orca was poisoned because it was a witness? That seems kind of dumb, honestly. I have to present that evidence. He wants me to present the three Zs. I have no idea why, though. That evidence that proves the culprit thought Orla was a dangerous witness. That's so dumb. Why would they think that? It can't talk. The defense would like to submit this e uh, evidence. What's this? It looks like some sort of medicine. It's a sleeping drug, your honor. A very powerful one. This sleeping drug was discovered in Orla's stomach yesterday. The culprit tried to drown Orla by putting her into a deep sleep. Tried to drown the orca, but why? Right, Dono? Are you trying to tell this court? That the perpetrator tried to kill the orca off to prevent a witness from talking? Do you really expect to defeat me with that feeble attack? My sword has been drawn. I'm not about to sheath my evidence now. Orcas have an enormous potential for intelligence. The possibility that Orla could somehow manage to reveal the truth can't be denied. I guess, it's pretty stupid though. The culprit believed in this possibility and that's why they tried to kill her. Dr. Herman Crabb. You purchased the sleeping drug, didn't you? What? Does this mean the veterinarian tried to do away with the orca? Who but a veterinarian would better know how to disguise an orca's death? He could even prevent the police from examining Orla's body. Why you... Are you actually accusing me of trying to murder the orca? How dare you! How dare you slander the noble profession of a veterinarian! Ooh. My goodness! One could cut the tension in this courtroom with a knife. Yes, I admit to purchasing that sleeping drug. However, it was subsequently stolen from my lab. <gasps> Wait. And if it was stolen, he said that Sasha and Marlin were two people that would occasionally clean his lab, so they had access to it. So, potentially there. If we know Sasha's innocent, that puts it back onto Marlin, who we know very little about. It's the truth. What else can I say? Any, any one of the crew members could have entered my lab. Or anyone could enter, I guess. I guess that weakens my evidence quite a bit. Besides, think about it for a minute. Who was it that treated Orla after she swallowed the drug? It was I! 
But as I recall, it took you quite a while to give that treatment. You didn't even come on your own. We had to get you. Son of a gun. You just remember all sorts of little details, don't you, Mr. Lawyer? The Oracle Pool and the lab are far apart. It's little wonder he didn't know Orla's condition. Objection! Didn't know? That's highly doubtful. As far apart as they were, Dr. Crab still had a way to know all about Orla's condition. The defense would like to submit evidence that the witness knew about Orla's condition. Torpedo! This is totally something for Torpedo. Or, wait, or security camera, but I think it's Torpedo. I'm not even gonna read it. The Torpedo. Ah, you just had to bring that up, didn't you? With this advanced data system, surely you would have known Orla's condition. Objection! Wait just one minute. What is this torpedo? Dr. Crab, how dare you bring a weapon of mass destruction into my courtroom? The torpedo, or tele-observation real-time pertinent data organizer, is a data system. Until yesterday, only Dr. Crab and Mr. Shipley knew about the torpedo. It isn't legally approved in this country, so it was kept secret from the police. It's illegal? Dr. Crab, I demand an explanation! Son of a gun! You and your big mouth, Mr. Lawyer. Oh, that's so cute, look! It's the, the penguin's playing with his uh, stethoscope. Oh, it's so cute! That should be a gift right there. Hold on, I'm gonna, ex I'm gonna just admire this. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yes, it's true, I'm using an illegal system to monitor the creatures at the aquarium. The system uses sensors like these, and yes, there's one in the orca pool too. These sensors send sound waves to the water to gather data on the creatures. If it finds abnormalities in their condition, the torpedo alerts me with a sound. Oh my goodness! How very high-tech! But if it's illegal, I will not turn a blind eye. This matter will be appropriately dealt with at a separate time. Now then, Mr. Wright, please continue. With the torpedo, I'm sure Dr. Crab noticed the danger Orla was in. But he made no attempt to come to her aid on his own. And the reason for that is that Dr. Crab wanted Orla dead. The torpedo didn't give me a warning message. That's why I didn't know there was anything wrong with Orla. The sensor in the orca pool wasn't working during the police's investigation. Objection! Can you prove that statement? Objection! <laughs> What's with him? I guess this is also high tech for Prosecutor Black Quill that it's making him a little crazy. Funair? Yes, I find this all very funny. Witness, those sensors sound. Wait, send sound waves through the water, correct? <gasps> There's no water, is that what he's going at? But what if there isn't any water? Then they wouldn't work. They would automatically switch off. I see. And where is the sensor in the orca pool located? I don't know. Jack is the one who attached it for me. Oh, you don't know? Then I will tell you. The police found a sensor just like the one you just showed us. They found it attached to the table at the bottom of the pool. Ah. Yeah, the table with the... Yeah, 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 okay. Do you mean the table in this photograph? That's right. Don't you get it yet? Right, Dono? The table is on the Skull Rock side of the partition. It's affixed to the bottom of the pool and can't be moved. Oh, and so if the water was drained from the Skull Rock side of the pool... Precisely. Without water, the torpedo sensor would not work. Witness, when did that sensor automatically switch off? Hang on. I'll look it up. The only times lately were during cleaning two days ago, and the investigation yesterday. <coughs> of course I knew the pool would be drained while they cleaned it. But I had no idea they drained it for the investigation. No one let me know. That's why I didn't know about Orla's condition yesterday. So Dr. Crab really did want to save Orla. 
Did you hear that right, Dono? Yes, the water can be drained without harm to the orca if the partition is used. Ah, it's been over 20 minutes, so I'm gonna end this video here, so stay tuned tomorrow for the next episode, and thanks for watching. Bye! Fun fact, Adam is actually harvested from sea slugs. And they're put into the uh, little sister's stomachs, and it generates far more Adam than it would normally by on its own, which is pretty disgusting. <laughs> I kind of want to listen. Why are you running? Is that is it because I'm running? It's because I'm running, isn't it? Shoot. I didn't realize. Art, science, to industry. Fully.